Michael Rogers is one of the highest ranking former U.S. intelligence officials out there, the former head of, head of the NSA and also of the U.S. Cyber Command. We had a wide ranging conversation just a few minutes ago, and I asked him about a number of topics, including the Saudi explanation for the fate of Jamal Khashoggi, uh, the Saudi journalist. Here's what he said on that front. I do believe that the Saudis, you know, elements of the Saudi government murdered this individual. And now I think the question gets to be, so how, what are we going to do about it? What's the Saudi role in this? And let's talk about how we make sure that there is a level of responsibility and acknowledgement, and also perhaps most importantly, that this doesn't happen again. These are not the actions that we believe a friend and ally should engage in. They're just not, and we need to convey that very strongly. We also talked about the upcoming midterm elections. The president has suggested that the Chinese are attempting to meddle in the 2018 midterm elections. I asked Admiral Rogers, who was in government as recently as last spring, if the president is right about that. Here's what he said. You're attempting to see them use influence and other things. I, I have not, during my time, I, I did not see them attempt to change outcomes or to try to drive outcomes in a way we saw the Russians do. So Rogers there saying that he did not, during his time in government, see the Chinese taking the kind of direct actions to meddle in an election the way he saw the Russians do. And he emphasized, Melissa, uh, that he believes that the Russians are continuing to try to impact uh, the outcome of the 2018 uh, midterm election. He said they're pouring gasoline on the fire of divisions that are already in existence inside the U.S. political system, Melissa. You know, Eamon, it's interesting because we're talking about foreign actors acting directly to meddle in an election when we also have the issue of foreign actors or, or corporations in other countries acting um, on social media platforms to meddle with the election. Did he mention anything about the U.S. government potential role in, in helping to battle that aspect of meddling? Yeah, he did. He said one of the things he said, which I thought was really interesting, was what Americans generally can do uh, when they see this kind of information. He said, uh, when you're looking at social media, don't just trust one source. Be a little bit more skeptical about things that you see on social media and be aware that there are foreign governments out there trying to pump this kind of propaganda into the U.S. political system for their own benefit uh, and just make sure that what you're seeing is actually real because there's so much misinformation that's out there, particularly uh, in these last couple of weeks before the election.